Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at how you can create those sort of wiggly elements that you can use as title elements for your videos. Now you can do it for text or you can do it for images. I'm going to do it on an image just so that you can see how it's going to be done. And I'm going to start in Photoshop. Where you end up is going to be dependent on what you use in terms of video rendering. I use Camtasia. I'm going to show you how to assemble it in Camtasia. I have my image open here right now and I need to create what's called a displacement map. So with my image open, that's pretty important if you're working in Photoshop, you're going to choose File and then New. And what you're going to do is at this point go and select Window and click on your image. In my case, it's Camper 3. And what that does is it sets up the width and height of the document you're about to create to be exactly the same size as this one. That's a really good idea. Click OK. I have an image with just a plain white background to create the displacement map, which is really a pattern of blacks and whites that you can use to bend things to. We'll choose Filter and then Render, and we'll choose Difference Clouds. That just applies a random sort of shape of black and white in your document. You'll duplicate this, drag the layer onto the new icon here. So we've got two copies of it. We're going to set the blend mode to multiply so it gets a bit darker. We can adjust down the opacity should we wish to. And then we'll merge these two layers together by right clicking and choose Merge Down. At this point, if you don't see enough white, you'll choose Image and then Adjustments. And you can just use Levels. If you drag downwards here, you'll find that you get a bit more white in the image. And you can get whiter whites by dragging in on the slider that's under the right hand side of the chart. But you might have to bring your blacks back to get that sort of contrasty look. That's pretty good. At this stage, we'll save it. It has to be saved as a PSD file. File and then save. This is the location I'm going to save it into. I'm going to make sure I choose Photoshop PSD as the file format, and I'm just going to call this map so that we can distinguish it from the one I already have. I'll click Save. We don't need that displacement map any longer, so we can just close it. We're going back to the image that we want to start wiggling. Now this image is pretty small. It's less than a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels, and the amount of wiggle that you want is really going to depend on how big your image is. So for a small image, I'm going to use settings of about four and minus four. If you're working with a really large image, you might want to increase those settings. Here in the Layers panel, right click and choose Convert to Smart Object. So what we're doing is converting the image layer into a smart object so we can apply a removable or adjustable filter to it. With it selected, we'll choose Filter and then Distort and Displace. This is the point where you use those values. I've got a horizontal scale of 0 and a vertical scale. This time, let's make it 4. So it's going to adjust 4 pixels or 4 elements on the vertical scale. And I'll just click OK. I'll select the map file, the displacement map, that black and white image that we just created, target it, and click Open. And you may or may not have seen a slight adjustment to the image. This is the displacement map applied to it. Because we applied it as a smart filter, I can click here to turn it off. So you can see there's a little bit of wiggle in the image. That's the wiggle that we want. I'm now going to save this file by choosing File and then Save As. I'm going to save it as a JPEG file because that's going to be suitable for my software. And I'm just going to call this Camper1. So this is going to be the first of my wiggly images. Because I applied a removable and editable filter here, all I need to do is to double click the Displace option here, and I can change my settings. This time I'm going to enter minus 4 as the vertical scale. Click OK, reselect the map, click Open. And again, we've got a jiggle, just a little bit of a different jiggle. We'll save this with File Save As. Again, I'm saving this as a JPEG because that works with my software, and I'm going to call this Camper2. I really only need two files to get this wiggle effect. If you put in too many, it tends to get a little bit weird. The next step is to open up your editing software. Now, I'm using Camtasia Studio. I'm going to import my media file, so I'll click on Import Media, and I'm going to bring in my two images. 
I'm going to select them and place them on the track. Right click and change the duration. Now the shortest duration I can use in Camtasia is 0.1 of a second. So I'm going to set it to that 0.1 of a second. You'll need to use whatever you can do in your software. So I'm just dragging these two stills onto the timeline, setting their duration. Now I'll reselect them and press Ctrl or Command C to copy them. I'm going to move my playhead forward and then paste them. I'm going to do that a couple more times. I'm just using Ctrl or Command V to paste. Now I'll reselect everything, copy it again, and go and place it in at the playhead. This is just the quickest way that I've found to work in Camtasia. Your software may be a little bit different. So all of these elements now have that same 0.1 of a second duration. Let's play it. You may see a delay in starting up and that's just going to be because you're rendering quite large images. But if you're happy with what you've got at this point, you can save it and then render it out. If your software doesn't allow you to work fast enough, for example, if it just allowed you to make your stills 0.5 of a second, then what you're going to do is you're going to put your stills on your timeline and set them to whatever value you can use and you'll render that out as a video. Then when you need to use it, bring it back into your video editor and shorten it, speed it up. For example, Camtasia allows me to right click and speed up the clip. So then I would right click it and speed it up 500%, for example, to speed it up to a level that was acceptable to me. So there is the basis of creating wiggly text intros that you can use for your videos. You can do it with text and you can do it with images as we've seen here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. YouTube will then let you know when I release new videos. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley and my website is projectwoman.com.